Want to keep up with the latest Gary Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Yo, yo, people, get to you in here for another video. So, guys, before this video starts, I just want to say something. Um, if you guys missed yesterday's live stream, then I, 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 you, I really recommend you check it out. It was an insane stream. We had over a thousand people watching it when it was live, um, which is crazy. And then also, we had over 200 likes on the stream before it finished, which was also insane. And on top of that, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who left donations and stuff during the stream. There's two, there's two people specifically, uh, people who were having a donation war during that stream. And it got pretty crazy. So there's two people specifically I want to shout out. And I, I appreciate everyone who donated that stream. There's a lot of people who did. Of this, again, two people who just, they went really, really, really above and beyond. Um, it, it it literally blew me away during the stream. Uh, you guys saw my reaction during it if you watched it. Um, it's kind of crazy. But either way, so Redneck and David Williams, uh, both of them, they, they, they put a smile on my face. I'll say that much. Um, yeah, I really recommend you guys check it out. But also, obviously, a thank you to everyone else who donated during the stream. There was, I don't know, like Farmer Steve, uh, Daniel, 911 uh, Roleplay, and all these other people donated during it. So just a giant shout out to everyone. Um, but those two specifically, I really want to say just because they they really, really went um, above and beyond. And it, it was awesome to see that. Uh, so just thank you, okay? That's mainly the thing I'm trying to get across. But either way, guys, here we go. We have two mods to check out and a pretty cool map, I guess, as well. And I know you guys will see this stuff in the distance. Just ignore it. That's for a different video. Uh, so, guys, let's start off with this. The Ford. Look at this. Okay, so well, let's look in the shop, actually, first. Because, obviously, that's what we got to do. Uh, okay, here it is. Ford Mustang GT500 Eleanor. Eleanor? I think that's how you say it. So it's $10,000 starting off. Let's see it. So we have silver and black options. We have red and black. And then we have color select. So we're going to leave it on color select. I'll, I'll show you guys why in a second. And then engine setup. So we have a few options. It gets crazy. We have stock 300 horsepower. We have tuned 400 horsepower. We have race tuned, which is going to be 600 horsepower. We have tuned, which is 850 horsepower. And drag tuned, which is... It literally doesn't even tell me. It's like, it's at least 800 and 8,005, whoa, 8,500 horsepower at least. It might even be more than that. I can't tell if there's another digit or not since it cuts off. But yeah, we're going to buy the drag tuned just because I want to show you guys it. Uh, but we already have another one bought as well as you guys saw. So for the colors, we're main color and design color. So main color. We can do like scarlet red. Oh, that's a nice color. Design color. Ooh. I'm thinking that nitro. Where is it? Nitro blue. That's cool. What if we switch those two? I'm just curious. Oh, that also looks nice. Oh, hard decisions. Okay, I think let's go with this one. Even though red's my favorite color and there's less red on this one, I still, I still, I don't know. I, I really like this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll lease that out. I'm not sure who made this, by the way, guys. Um, yeah, my bad, I guess. I don't know. But I, w I will leave links on my website and everything. Link for my website will be down below. So, let's see this. So, we'll first start off with the regular stock one. Not too fast. It It's okay. It's a little bit loud. I'll say that much. Now, I think my game actually might be loud, too, right now after the live stream. Yes, it is. So that's how we usually have it. So it's a little bit better. It's kind of more what we're used to for the game volume there. Pretty cool. See, it does gain some speed, but obviously the 400 and all those other options do get faster. And then, look at that. Okay. And then what I want to show you guys is the function this has, which is kind of cool. So here's the interior. It has working gauges. I can show you guys. If we look. There we go. Look at that. Pretty cool. I know. So let's go back to normal. Uh, negative one. There we go. Okay. Do these pedals work? Oh, they do. 
or the gas one works. The brake, oh yeah, when you go backwards, wait. Okay, it's a little bit weird the way those pedals work. Only, I think only one's animated. Um, yeah. Yeah, the other one isn't moving. Okay, or the other two aren't moving. I, I was just double checking. But either way, guys, um, it's pretty cool nevertheless. Now, something to note is this steering wheel is not round, nor are these tires. I don't know why. It's quite, like, we, we're seeing uh, non-round tires now quite often. I like how our body goes back and forth in there. It's kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, so what I want to show you guys is we can click X and boom. Do you see that thing lowering down? And raising up? Look at that. That's so cool, guys. We could stay in there and do that. I really like that function, guys. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of get better performance, I guess, if it's lower. So now let's see how this other one is. I'm hyped. I'm going to save the game because I know we're going to lose this vehicle. It's bound to happen. It's a saving game. There we go. Okay. Let's see this thing. Oh, yes. Oh, it drifts. It does drift. Okay. So look at this, guys. Like, already, look at how fast we were going there. Look at how fast we are going here. Let's get a big field. Uh, we've got to watch out for, like, rough train. Okay, this should be pretty flat. Let's just see. Look at this. We're still gaining speed. Okay. Okay, okay. Don't... There we go. Oh, whoa, this graffiti. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool to see. Okay, but... Whoa, did you see that, guys? Look at that. Because this, guys, this thing actually drifts. It's rare that we see that, but, like, we can back up and drift there. And I did completely hit that person. But, yeah, right, so here, let me show you guys. I'm going to tell you guys when I let go, okay? When I count down, once I say one, I'll let go. Ready? Three, two, one. Did you see how we kind of drifted? Let's try that again. Boom. I let go. Three, two, one. See how we keep drifting? Like that's cool. Okay, yeah. Now we're now we're flipping out. Here we go. Okay, maybe let's lower it down. I don't know if that would even help when you're going this fast. Like, does that make a big performance difference when your vehicle has this much power? Like, look at this, guys. Ready? Oh no. Oh, we hit the edge of the map. That's kind of funny. Where are we gonna land? Boom. There we go. Um. No. Oh, okay, we're upside down. Uh, we can lower and raise it when we're upside down. Look at that. That's kind of weird to see. The tire height's not changing, but our height is. Very unique. Okay. So there we go, guys. That's pretty cool. Now, there's another vehicle for us to check out, which is right over... I know you guys are seeing, seeing some cool things, um, but the one is right here. Okay. The Land Cruiser. But before we do that and we test this thing out, Here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lambo Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay guys, so the Land Cruiser made by Expendables Modding, Toyota Land Cruiser I should say. This is a farm edition. Um, there's two different versions I saw that they posted. But either way guys, again, all the mods used in this video will be linked on my website so yeah pretty cool so guys here we go um yeah let's let's do this so cars and here we are exp19 toyota land cruiser vdj76 i don't know uh yeah let's let's go with that name very unique name but here it is so rim color we can change we can go like scarlet red Main color, you can change all these options. Old blue, no, no, no. We go nitro blue. Oh, I love that. Okay. Design color, we could go blaze orange. Ooh, okay. Now, for these are the options. Now, there is a lot of options for this vehicle. It's kind of scary. Wheel brand. So, this is going to change the height. So, stock. And then tuned. It's pretty simple. Um... Yeah, I think it changes the stiffness, but also the height, as you guys can tell. And then, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Then we also have the wheel setup. 
So uh, mud tires, we have off-road and standard. Then we have decals. So stock, uh, TRD. There's, there's all these other ones. Aussie decals. Uh, and just, I don't know. There's so many guys. These, oh, what is that? O OME decals. I don't even know what that is. But it's pretty cool nevertheless. And then we have extras. So we have stock, uh, bull bar. This is like, this is crazy. Why are why are mods having so many options? Like I like it, but it's like we had nothing even remotely similar to uh, these vehicles in the old games. So bull bar, bull bar, and rock sliders, a high lift, which I think that's the thing there. I don't know what it does. Someone let me know what a high lift is, please. It's that thing right there. Uh, but yeah, that's eight hundred dollars. Wow. Bull bar and high lift, okay. Wow, okay, the bull bar and the bull bar and high lift cost the same price to get. So you can get both for the price of one. And then all in gives you everything. So yeah. Lots of options. Um okay, so next guys, engine setup. So we have uh I think there's only two options. It's a 4.5 liter V8, and then we have a 4.5 liter V8 turbo. And yeah, those are the two options. So that would be another two thousand dollars. See, the horsepower goes from two thirty-five up to three fifteen. So pretty cool. Light sets. So with stock um, front bumper slides, we have ARB intensity sides and ARB uh, roof forty-inch. That's a giant one up there. LED bar sides and roof bars, a ARB and roof bar, and then all, which is just a lot of lights. Then bed options. Okay, so we're almost done with this, guys. Flatbed, flatbed with gates, flatbed with cage, and full flatbed. So there we go, guys. Either way, let's test this thing out. So let's go ahead and I'll show you guys it unfolds. Now, I have a question for you guys. What is the point of this cage if you have this, like, hitch here? Or, like, what is, if you have the cage, why would you want this hitch? Because fully... What kind of trailer can like reach over top safely? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't even think this one over here could do that. Let's see. Mm, no, definitely not. You would just like, I don't know. It's interesting. Okay. Either way, pretty cool back there. And then uh, it does have a winch on the front because this is from Expendables Modding. They like throwing winches on stuff. So that's pretty cool. You do have straps at the back. Uh, oh, oh, they're kind of low down. Look at that. You can kind of see them attaching there. Pretty cool, nevertheless. You can see where the hitch is. One of them showing up. Can we hop in and show you guys that? Uh, nope. Apparently not. Can you access them from here? Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. So, pretty cool. Here, if, if I... Show this one. So look at there. There's nothing there. Throw this down. And now there is part of a strap, right? That's pretty cool. Okay. So there we go. For the lights. Uh, well, here's it on. Then we can drive forward. It's kind of quiet. Let's hear the horn. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. And then uh, here, let me just show you the horn for the other vehicle as well. Pretty cool. Okay. So, let's run over. Yee. Okay. And let's let's get moving with this. Uh, I'll show you guys interior too. So, mirrors working. You actually have a really, really good... So many game errors. I don't know why. What's that from? Rear multi-point. I don't know what that is. Okay. But this mirror, although you can kind of see like that grate in it or whatever, or the mesh, um, or like the fencing or whatever, but it's still... It's really, really... Uh, well placed so good job with that all these mirrors actually that's a very useful mirror and that is also a very very useful mirror look at that shows the edge of the vehicle perfectly and same with this one so really cool there and these gauges on here let's see if they work i don't know why i keep zooming out um okay here boom yes they do are they accurate yes they are actually perfectly accurate that's cool. I wonder if the fuel one works. And what's that one there? The low to high there. I don't like the 
engine oil, right? But I don't know. You have your battery. That's cool. And you have your C and H. What's that for? I don't actually know. What does it center off? I don't know what that means. Okay, either way, pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead, guys, and I want to actually test this out. And that's why I chose this map, because there's a cool area to test this out on. Uh, so I think I know how to get here. By the way, yes, we do have that, like, thing higher up there. All uh, right, let me save the game right now, just in case we mess up here. Uh, so, guys, is this an exhaust, or what is this here? What is that called? The air intake? Or the oh, what? I didn't even realize that. Look at the antenna. Look right here, okay? You guys see? It's down, and then it goes up. That's so cool. It's kind of quick, but you can definitely see that movement. That's really, really nice. I like that. I really do like that. Okay, let's go over, though. Um, and yeah, so we'll see if this can go in water. I don't think it actually can go deep. We'll just drive here. Okay. Uh, nope. Nope. This doesn't work. I messed that up. Okay. Turn here. It's actually pretty good turning, if I'm being honest. I was expecting it to be a little bit worse at turning. So I'm happy with that. And then... So, okay, down... Woo, there we go. We get, we're getting quite a bit of driving in already. Let's see this. Oh, no. Okay. Do not drive too deeply. So, yeah, it can definitely go a bit higher than usual. But it does have a max. So, you just got to keep that in mind. So, that's pretty cool, though. And then, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and... Okay, let's see this turning first off. So, there we go. That's a good demonstration. And then, I want to go... Up this like dirt path kind of thing I saw oh geez whoops okay I like by the way like the wheel the way the wheel turns oh we need to fix that okay um by the way one other thing let's turn the wheel in this view look at the rotations it does okay so not that much now in first person also it our elbow like kind of pops there a bit do you see that that's a bit scary okay yeah i don't like that okay but then in here the wheel turns extra it's kind of kind of weird how that works i don't know why that is and then for the lights guys i know it's daytime but lots of lights uh here we can make it nighttime actually gs set or you know what i have an idea for the rest of the video let's just have it be nighttime 24 okay wait Wait, I saw windshield wipers move. How did it do that? How did it do that? I wanted to do that again. Wait. I swear the windshield wipers moved. I don't know how. It, I, I swear those windshield wipers moved. Okay, either way. So no lights. And then, oh, look at those mirrors. Those are great. Okay. And then you have our gauges of light up in here. Pretty cool. That light, that light, and then this light. That's with, like, the top one. So many lights. It's kind of crazy here. Let's go with, like, this one. There we go. Okay. And then this is a really cool map. Yeah, I think we can do digging on here and stuff. How can I get these windshield wipers to move? They're in the middle right now. I know I can make them move. Um, I really don't know how to do this, guys. The windshield wipers, I know they move. I saw them move. Am I seeing things? Like, why are they stuck in the middle if they didn't move? Right? Maybe it's the daytime that does that. Mm, no. Why would it be the time of day? I wonder if it rains if it will do it. Can we get some rain? Oh! <gasps> No way! Because the game says it's raining, the windshield wipers are moving. Are you kidding me? That might be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Are there more mods that do that? 
No way. Look at that, guys. Because it's raining in the game, the windshield wipers move. That is crazy. Okay, let's go up here, though. Let's see how this does. Working windshield wipers on a vehicle that auto-detect rain. Never thought I would see that in a farming simulator. Like, this truck is crazy. And obviously, guys, we have the winch and stuff, too. Like, wow, I'm amazed by that. I've never really checked vehicles to see if they have working windshield wipers before. Maybe that's a common thing, and I just didn't know. I wonder if any of, like, the base vehicles in the game have that. They might. Again, like, I've not ever done testing, so... I really don't know. You know what? Let's buy a tractor right now. I'm just curious. I wonder if any of these have like working windshield wipers. Like this one. Maybe it's a common thing. Oh! It does work! I n I've never seen like vehicles during the night or during rain like that. The only time we've ever actually um seen rain in the game in a video was when i was in, like riding a boat so i never got to experience that but no that's really cool seeing working windshield wipers on here i i feel like mods don't usually have that function as it kind of makes sense that the in-game vehicles do but a mod like that's crazy look at these lights guys so so bright so so bright but there we go guys okay either way that's it for this video Thank you guys for watching. We're just kind of doing some off-roading now in our truck, our Land Cruiser. I like the name. It's cruising on the land pretty good. It's a little bit bouncy. But, yeah, I really love this vehicle, guys. Let me know what you thought about all these mods. Let me know what you think about this map as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys are so awesome. Somehow we were supposed to take the road there. I don't know how the roads connect. Either way, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G-Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.